This video is about variables, but um, avoiding errors when making variables. So there's some of the common mistakes that you may make while making a variable, and it's good to know about them now rather than figuring out the hard way where you, you try to fix your code over and over again and, and it becomes annoying. So let's go to uh, GCSE CS and we'll go to the coding place there, which is under contact more, then click on code editor. And I'll just slide this across. We don't need that much coding area and delete these comments. So variables, let's make a variable. Uh, I'll just put one on line three. Let's say I'm coding a tennis game, the one where you have a bat and you knock it over a net and then you run around, right? So I'm coding a, a tennis game and there's normally two players. So let's make a variable called um, one player name equals, I don't know, let's call the player Dennis. And you normally have two players. So the other guy, two player name is going to be Freddy, all right? And just to make the code a bit more interesting, I'm going to display or print. Uh, I'll put a versus, which means one player playing another. Versus is what it means. And I'll copy these variable names, highlight control C, put it inside the bracket, control V, highlight the other one, control C, put in the bracket, control V, and then I'll drop in my commas. There we go. And just to make it a bit more interesting, I will display using the print command, uh, print function, um, today's, today's tennis, uh, tennis game is, and then hopefully it will say Dennis versus Freddy. Let's go. Bang. Let's run that. And I get a big red angry sign and it says invalid syntax and it's pointing to my very first variable. It doesn't like my variable. There's an error with my variable. Well, let me tell you what the error is. First of all, think, have a guess. And the answer is this. My variable starts with a number, right? It starts with a number. It cannot start with a number. So I'm going to put my number in the middle. So now it says player one name and I'm going to run that. Well, I still get an error with my variable. Let's have a look. No, it's now moved on to the second variable, right? Two player name it's set to Freddy. So I'm gonna just get rid of that two. I'm gonna put the two in the middle. Well, if I've changed these ones, then I must have to change these ones because they're the same variables. I've only got two variables. So I highlight Control C, highlight Control V. So now I've got player one in the middle, player one name, uh, Dennis, player two name, Freddy, and it will display, hopefully, Dennis versus Freddy. Let's have a go. And there we go. Today's tennis game is Dennis versus Freddy. All right. So we've come across uh, the very first error that you can have when making a variable. It cannot start with a number. All right. If you start with a number, let me put a random number here, number six, it's gonna say, no, I don't like that. Don't start with a number, all right? So I can control Z, control Z, give it my six, run it again, and it's happy, okay? So no errors. So it cannot start with a number. Okay, let's try this. Let me just tidy this up a bit, because it's annoying when, you, when everything's st stuck together. So I'm just gonna change those variables and just put a little space bar in the middle, because now it says player, space one, I'll just put one space bar, that's fine. Player one space bar name, that's what it says, okay? Player one space bar name. Let me run that code, tell what happens. No, it doesn't like it. It's saying, well, there's a problem with your variable. So we bump into the second problem. You cannot have a space bar in the name of a variable or the identifier of a variable. You cannot have a space bar. Python doesn't let you do that, okay? So don't find it out the hard way. Do not put space bars in your variable. So if I get rid of the space bars, has that fixed it? Run my code. Yes, no errors. If you need to have some sort of gap on the keyboard where you've got the numbers one to nine, zero, next to the zero, if you hold the shift key and press that, you get an underscore, all right? Shift and that button to the right of zero, 
underscore. All right, and you'll notice that it does give your, it lets your eyes see, I'll put them in here as well, it lets your eyes see that there is a space, but you're not using a space bar. So let's see if Python likes my underscore, which is here. Let's go. Yeah, look, did not crash. Okay, so an alternative to a space bar is an underscore. And that's it, those are the kind of main things. The last thing I just throw at you is that meaningful variable names. Let's say I'm gonna call this X and I'm gonna call this Y. Now it will work if I put X here and I put Y here, and I put my comma back in. Let's see. Now it definitely works, but I have no idea what the on line three, what that line of code does. X is set to Dennis. Well, what is X? Is that the name of the referee? Is that the name of the ball boy in this tennis game? Is that the person that throws the towel at the, the players? What's X? That means nothing to me. So I need to have, I'll do control Z, control Z, control Z. I need to have meaningful, meaningful variable names or meaningful identifiers. Because when you read that, you go, oh, okay, the first player that's called Dennis and the second player is called Freddie, okay. And, and you know what, Freddie couldn't make it. You know, he, he, he was ill or he, he, he injured himself uh, in, in a previous game. So now Henry has to come along and play. And you run that and there you go. It outputs Dennis versus Henry, okay. So those are uh, some of the errors that you might run into. Variables should have a useful name. Variables cannot start with a number. Variables cannot contain a space bar, but they can contain an underscore if you want to. You can play around with other symbols to see what it can or cannot contain. And that's it. So those are some of the common mistakes that people make when creating variables. I just want to throw this into you as well. If I misspell the print function, you'll notice number one, the color changes, but number two, when I run it, it doesn't like it. It says there's an error, PRNT is not defined, which is it's saying is it doesn't get what PRNT, okay? And we look at that, we go, oh yeah, I made a mistake, my apologies. Oh, let me fix that, and you run it again, and it's fixed. Also, you'll notice that the print function is all lowercase. If I put a capital P and I run that, it doesn't like it again. It says capital P print is not defined. It doesn't like it, so it must be lower case. Run that again, and yes, it's fixed with lowercase. That's it, that's my explanation for common mistakes with uh, variables. What you can do now is have a go at this. What you're seeing here is some bad code, okay? It's got lots of errors in it. So what does this code say? Well, it says pint in today's swim race. It's, I think there might be an error on line one. Then it's got print with a capital T and an empty string. There might be an error there, I'm not sure. Then it says one swimmer underscore name is set to Raj. The next line says the two swimmer name with some space bars is set to Saha. And the last uh, third variable is swimmer three name is set to Rick. I think there are quite a few errors within the, with those variables. The last line, line now, I've got print, that looks normal. Then I've got the variables versus uh, another variable versus another variable. So pause the video, copy the code into a code editor, run it as many times as you can, try and fix all the errors until it's running perfectly. Here comes the answer in three, two, one. All right, so I'm gonna highlight this, control C on the keyboard, go to my code editor, control V. On line one, I think there's a mistake in the print function. And now I think I've fixed it, but I'll double check it when I run it. Line two, I think that capital T should be a lowercase t. Line three, uh, line four, I should say. Well, line four, you can't start a variable with a number. So I'm gonna put swimmer one name is set to Raj, and I think that looks okay. Line five, well, again, it's got a space bar and a number. It starts with a number, it shouldn't have that. So I'm gonna, copy the similar one on line four and to keep them all the same I'm going to put a underscore there and it looks like from line five 
Sahar is missing a speech mark to show that it's a string. Now, I think my variables in line four, five, and six are good. I'll double check it in a minute. Let's have a look at line eight. Well, I'm just gonna highlight and copy and paste in all of my variables. And I'll drop in that comma because that just disappeared. And I'll do the next one. And I'll do the last variable. Okay, now let's run the code. I'll just I'll just break that down there. Run the code. Oh, there we go. In today's swim race, it's Raj versus Saha versus Rick. Looks good to me. That's the answer.